From Hollywood. Too cool. It's the Tom Likas Show. That was awesome. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. We do it once a year. We talk to drunk drivers calling in from their cell phones. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Jason, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Father. Yes. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, I just wanted to call and let you know that after dating a girl for about five months, I now have her trained. I work as a window salesman, and I work 8 to 5 Monday through Friday, and every day after work, she arrives at my work. I get a pint of Smirnoff vodka and an Arizona iced tea, fruit punch flavored, and I switch positions. I drive home, and we drive, and we go from Glendora to West Covina, about a 15-minute drive, and I get my buzz on the whole way. Now, if it's only 15 minutes, could you just go to a bar when you get there? I could, but when you drink as much as an alcoholic does, it's a lot cheaper to buy it uh, either from a discount or in bulk or something. Sometimes I even take a bottle I filled up at home and bring it to work with me so I can get after work because it's just cheaper. I mean, you're drinking a lot. Wow. So tell me this then. Uh, uh, have you ever been caught? Have you ever gotten a DUI? You know what? I'm... 26, almost 27 years old, never been caught, but I'll tell you, one time I was drinking and driving open container on the freeway in the carpool lane by myself, and a cop put his sirens on told me to pull over, and I swerved real quick and got off the next exit, and the cop got blocked by traffic and didn't make it off, and I happened to actually just go to a fast food joint, pretend to get a hamburger, and carry about my business. I almost got caught one time, but to date, I have not got caught. Really? Yeah. And you're not worried about it at all, not even a little bit? Well, I am. I hear the horror stories about the dollar amount and the fine, about the community service, whatever the punishment is, and the insurance going up. I hear the horror stories. Um, like I said, I'm a window salesman, and I just happen to have a good rapport and a good uh, personality. And when I talk to cops, I've been pulled over a few times, and I've once been questioned about losing my breath, but I give them the old story. Oh, I just got done uh, mowing my lawn. I got to take my girlfriend to her doctor's appointment. I got to hurry up. Uh, I had a beer when I mowed my lawn, and it wasn't a big deal. I kind of played off nonchalant and uh, got lucky that time. But to date, no, I have not been caught, and I'm not really worried about it. Um, I drive good. I'm not swerving all around the road. I know my limit. Um, I'm a big, hefty guy. I'm about 6'3", 250 pounds, so, you know, it's not messing me up that much. Let, but, me, throw, uh, let me throw another one at you. What if somebody who was drunker than you plowed into you? Well, then the cops would be investigating everything. That would not be a good situation, and I hope that does not happen. But again, um, there's a lot of what ifs out there. And yeah, I'm not being too responsible, but I don't like anybody else that likes a drink. I like the sweet taste of my vodka. I like to enjoy my drink after a hard day's work. I'm productive. I make money. And that's my, uh, that's my deal. That's my thing. That's what I do. Thank you, Jason. Tom, I want you to have a very good night, and uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. one 800 800 tom I'm talking to drunk drivers calling from their cell phones. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? <laughs> Not much, Mike. All right. I'm, uh, I'm, here, I'm over here in downtown on the 101, and uh, I got my two talls. I'm on my second one. Well, you two tall what's? Two tall cans. Two tall cans. Uh, what are you drinking? Uh, Bud Light. Bud Light. Two tall Bud Lights? Yeah, I got to keep it simple for the ride, you know? I'll, I'll get into the heavier stuff when I get home. Now, do you uh, <laughs> keep it in a cup or you drink it right out of the can? How do you do it? Uh, no, right out of the can, right here in front of everybody. Really? Yeah, and you know what? This law, man, this law, these laws, they they're not working. Um, I'm, I'm driving in a vehicle that's... Uh, uh, unregistered, so my stickers are up. You know, that's already a bust. And uh, my license got revoked about four months ago. Why well, Why was your license revoked? Uh, unpaid tickets. Unpaid tickets. So you're driving without a driver's license and an expired tag. Yeah. And you're not worried that they're going to pull you over? Well, honestly, no, because cops see that it's a uh, uh, re registration, and they're just, you know, ah, that guy can't be doing anything. That's probably as far as they're going to get, so they just leave me alone. 
Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. I have a busted window in the back. Uh, I mean, I, I'm driving, not hiding it at all. And, uh, yeah. You know what? There's also more. Um, when I go with me and my buddies, we get ready to go out, you know, go to the clubs. We want to, you know, we can't be paying for every drink. So we go, we, we go and we fill up uh, our little, our little cooler. We drive to the club, drinking it. Once we're done with the club, you know, time to go home. We're not ready to finish, so there we go. We go climb back into that uh, fridge and just keep drinking on the way home. Do you ever drink anything harder than uh, than beer? Oh, of course, always, all the time. We mix it up, you know. No, I mean, uh, I mean, when you're driving or before you drive. Uh, I, it, it makes no difference. Uh, uh, I'll be drinking before something will come up, and we'll just jump in our rides and go, and we'll still be drinking. You're not concerned. Uh, concern? Nah, not really. All right, thank you for that. Raphael on the Tom Like His Show, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Raphael. How's it going, man? Doing okay. Yeah, uh, I just got off work. Uh, me and my buddy of mine are working there. We found a uh, bottle of wine and a big-ass 40 afterwards. How, how big a bottle of wine was it? Policy. Doesn't matter if you're drunk. Yeah! You cannot uh, say the S word on the air. Thank you. This is Steve on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 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 Tom. Steve. What's going on? Not much. You tell me what's going on over there. Uh, not much. Just got my uh, vodka here in my cup. Just rolling down the road here with a half a house. With half a house? Yeah. So why do you have half a house? I haul houses. You, you, you haul houses? You mean like prefab houses? or? Yeah. Really? So you got to have a house. How big is your rig? Well, right now it's running at uh, 85 feet. 85 foot rig with half a house behind you. Yep. And you're drinking uh, what kind of vodka? Smirnoff. Smirnoff. And on ice, baby. On ice. Do you do you mix that with anything? No, straight up. Straight up. No ice. Oh, but it's on ice. Yeah, it's on ice. Vodka. So you got the vodka on ice, and it's in. Uh, do you have it in a glass? Or how do how do you carry it? Uh, no, it's just in a Wiener Schnitzel cup. In a Wiener Schnitzel cup. How big yeah, a how know. big a cup? Like a large cup, a small cup? What? Oh no, a big cup. The big cup. The big cup. Yeah, I can't be stopping and filling it up all the time. I only get to stop when I stop at the scale house. I see. So how big a bottle of vodka is in that vehicle with you? Oh, I got two gallons. Two gallons? Yeah, I'm halfway through one of them. Where do you get those? Like BJ's Warehouse or something? Walmart, baby. Walmart. You pick up the two-gallon Smirnoff vodka there at Walmart. Yeah, I usually buy a case when I'm there. A case? And you keep them all in the vehicle? Yes, sir. Wow. Can't leave home without him. I understand. Now, do you ever get pulled over for, you know, speeding or just any old uh, reason? Do you ever get pulled over by the police? Oh, uh, yeah. I've been pulled over a couple times for speeding and stuff, but... What do you do? Uh, not that I just act normal with them. They don't ask really no questions. They don't notice that you're drinking straight vodka? No, nah, no. Nah, you can't really smell it. You pop some gum in your mouth. You can't really smell the vodka. Really? I think it's the best one, can you know? They can't really smell it. Wow. Now, have you ever gotten a DUI? No, I never got a DUI. And you're not particularly worried about it? Nah. Nah, there's no reason to be worried about it. If I could drive this big old truck and not hit nothing, then what's the problem, right? And you do it how often? Every day? Oh, every day. Huh. I can't get up without a couple shots. Really? Yeah. Now, do they know, you know? Do they know this about you at work? Oh yeah, all of, just about everybody who drinks at work. Oh really? I mean, the, the holiday parties are out of control. And do people drink at work and then go out and haul houses around? Is that what they do? Oh yeah. That's quite a company you work for. All, all day long. Drinking all day long. Yeah. As soon wow. as we get a little four twenty added on. You got a little 420 in there, too? Do you smoke weed yeah. in the car? Oh, yeah. 
You do. You're in the cat. You're in the cab of your vehicle, and you're smoking weed. My helpers will roll the roll them for me if I need to. Your helpers will roll those for you. Yeah. So do you do you have a couple of roaches in the car there with you, or what? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, we just got done smoking one while we were on hold. Look at you. So you're smoking weed and you're drinking straight vodka on ice. Yep. Out of a wiener schnitzel cup. Rolling down the highway. Rolling down the highway. Now, have you, safe. have you ever had an accident of any kind? I've never been in an accident. Really? Never. Not that you got can remember. Several speeding tickets. You got speeding tickets. You just popped in some gum or some Tic Tacs, and that, that was it. The and cop gave you the ticket. You're good to go. And you're good to go. Yep. All right. As long as your logbook's all up to date, they don't really ask no questions. All right. Well, Steve, thank you so much for checking in during this right, happy can you holiday season. Tribal style yeah, with yeah, a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus. That wouldn't be the first bong hit you had today, now, would it? Baninge, 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 sopenza. Baninge, 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 sopenza. Thank you, Jesus. Tom. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Now with shorter commercial breaks. Can you tell? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Okay. <laughs> We're talking to drunk drivers calling in from their cell phones, just to prove there are still a lot of drunk drivers out there. Doesn't matter what the laws are. Doesn't matter what the public service announcements say. This is what's really going on. Sean on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tommy, how you doing? It's been a long time to call you, man. How you doing? Uh, you know, I could be doing a lot better, but eh, whatever. You know, I just wanted to call and say, look, uh, I'm a I'm a delivery man. I work for a pizza place that delivers pizza. And, you know, I like to drink a beer, like have a few beers when I'm on the road. But you know, it doesn't make me excited. It's and I'm really upset, like that people call in. Like I've been listening to your station, like they're all excited that they're drinking beers and driving. Like, no, I'm not. I just do it. And I, I I'm I'm an alcoholic. I guess you can say, but I'm not proud of that. Everyone else on, like, I've been listening to, like, they're proud. Like, yeah, I'm a drunk and I'm driving. Ooh, ooh, it's cool. You're like, no, it's not. It's really not. Like, I've had friends who've gotten accidents or who died from drinking alcohol, like, drive, drinking and driving. And I just don't know what, I mean, I'm drinking a beer right now and I'm just, like, hating myself, but yet I still do it. Why? I have no idea. Really? Why people still, yeah, why people still do it, I don't know either. Are you an alcoholic? No, I... Am I an alcoholic? And the fact that once I drink one, I have to have more? Yes. Well, I mean, just just the fact that you have to do it all the time or the fact that you can't resist driving drunk? The fact that it's, I, I can resist driving drunk, but I can't resist like a... There's not a day I have... I've, I've not gone a day without having a beer in my hand. Like it just, it, you know, it upsets me. It upsets, uh, it, just upsets, it, it upsets me that I'm just like still driving. I have my job as a driver. Like, ever they catch me, or if I would have got pulled over for a DUI, um, that would have just, like, pretty much ruin my, ruin my job. I'd have no job. I'd just ruin my, like, it would ruin so much stuff for it. But, yeah, people like me, people like me and other people just are so, like, excited. Just, like, just, like oh, yeah, I'm drinking a beer on the road. You know, it's really cool. It's really not. You know, I'm only 21 years old, and I'm... I'm, I'm doing this stuff and just retarded. I don't know why I still do it, but I still do. Well, you could stop today. Why don't you? No, I, 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 oh, I think about that every day. Yeah, it's like this will be my last beer. But, no, it really, I mean, there's gone, there's not time where I've gone, like, weeks, weeks and months without drinking a beer. But once I have one, it's like, it's like I'm like, yeah, let me get another one. You know, and look at another one. Well, Sean, thank you for that. I appreciate it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to John. On the Tom Like His Show. Hey, Tom. Hey, John. What's going on? I'm drinking a beer right now. What are you drinking? Old English in the can. Old English in the can? 
Yeah. Really? So right. you're not worried? You're not like worried about uh, getting caught with a can? You're not putting it in a cup or anything to hide it? No, not at all. I do it all the time. Really? Yeah, I've been doing it for 15 years. How big a can do you drink? 24. You drink a 24 ounce Old English. Old English. And for people who don't know what Old English is, that's malt liquor. And malt liquor is beer. It's just beer with a very high alcohol content. That's right. Mm hmm. And I do it all the time. And you know what? The cops pull behind me, check my registra registration, and they go on about their business. They never, I've never been pulled over. Never had a DUI. Really? And I'm not, it's really, and I'm not bragging. The other guy talking about, you know, you're bragging. It's what you do. You're not proud of it, but, you, you know, you do it because you like doing it. You like the taste. I could be, I could be in church. <laughs> okay. Well, I could be in church. Is that what you do? Do you bring the can of Old English here to church? That's great. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. John on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Doing okay, John. Just uh, driving down PCH on my fourth butt ice. Your third butt ice? Fourth. Fourth one. Fourth butt ice. Yeah. Got a six-pack sitting right here. So you gonna gonna are you going to finish the whole thing on the way mm -hmm. home? Sure am. Getting ready to drive through the canyon back to the valley. Which canyon? Uh, over here on Topanga. Topanga Canyon. That's now. I I have uh, driven Topanga Canyon many times. That's a very dangerous road if you're going from Malibu, for example. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. But you know, I've done it so many times. Uh, you know, I can drive it in, drive it with my eyes closed practically. Come on, haven't you ever drifted over the yellow line just a little bit? Come on, uh, well, just you know. a little bit, you know. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but, you know, those uh, markers to keep me in check. You Maybe know? you were taken by the scenery over there. Topanga Canyon, yeah, beautiful. Bit, you know, there's once in a while I'll pick up a hitchhiker, give her a ride back to the valley, you know. Really? Yeah. Or from a beer? Oh, uh, from a little beer, you know. Um, they got the whole hippie vibe up here, so they're still doing that hitchhiking thing. And wow. I'll pick one up, and I'll take her back to, you know, back to the valley. And, uh, you know, we should be on the way down. Look at you. Yeah. Now, is uh, Bud Ice your drink of choice, or do you drink other things as well? Uh, I like Bud Ice on the road. Uh, when I get back home, I like to drink the good stuff. Uh, I like Jameson, Gurus. Uh-huh. Do you ever drink that stuff before you get on the road? Um, not really. I just, you know, on my way home, I'll stop by the local liquor store. The guy already knows what I'm going to get. I crack one open. Start driving. So you stick to butt ice. That's that's your drink of choice on the road. Yeah, keep keep it light, not too crazy. Nothing, you know. Pop a few guns and I'm good to go. Have you ever been uh, picked up or arrested or pulled no over? Uh -uh. Never. Nothing like that. No. Wow. Because we talked to other people who've been, uh, you know, arrested, even spent time in jail, and then they're back out there drinking or driving again. But not you. Not me. Knock on wood. Okay. Can you take me out JFK style, senior? JFK senior style. Yes, of course I can. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Chad on the Tom Likas Show. We're talking to drunk drivers uh, who are calling from their cell phones as they're drinking and driving. Hello. Hello, Tom. Chad. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Oh, just drinking a couple sixers of Red Hook ESB. I'm Northwest, man. A couple of sixers? Yeah, I always pick them up on the way home. I'm on the I-5 heading past Valencia. Me and my brother, man, we work down in all the refineries down in Long Beach. How many cans have you had? I've had six already. We've had six each. I think we're going to move on to something different. I got to dis Deschutes Brewery, a little Black Butte Porter sixer in the trunk. I think me and my brother can grab that <laughs> next. Really? Yeah, man. We're having a good time. We always have to do this, man, because there's traffic out here. I can't put up with it, man, unless you have something, you know, because it takes you two hours to get home. So you only you only uh, drink uh, in in the car or in the truck uh, when you're in L.A., but you don't do that back home. Uh, actually, I do, Tom. You know, it's in my blood pretty much. I grew up with that old, you know, those microbreweries, man, and we drink a lot, you know. Sounds like it is your blood. 
Yeah, we drink uh, that old dark, you know, like espresso in the morning, you know, but it's not quite espresso. No, you know? this is nothing like espresso. Yeah, we like the Black Butte Porter. I, I, does that have coffee in it? No coffee, no coffee, Tom. Just uh, about an eight point two percent alcohol. Look at that. For volume, yeah. So you, when you're driving, do you stick to beer or do you drink other things as well? Uh, we drink a little bit of everything. I like Patron. We drink a little. My brother, he's pretty rowdy sometimes, so he has to go home to his lady, and he knows he's got a child, so he likes a little Patron to get him calm down before he has to see the lady. So you drink Patron in the truck. Yeah, we've got that in the trunk. Because I guess I heard if you get if you get pulled over, Tom, you got it in the trunk. They can't really mess with you. So how you know do you how I do you get pulled. it from 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 your cab into the trunk? Oh, well, from the cab to the trunk, we got the seat opens. I got this Audi and it's got a little seat open. And back, my brother crawls in there and gets it out of the ice chest, and we just bring it to the back seat, you know, and have a couple shots real quick, Tom. I mean, you got to do it in this traffic. I tell you, otherwise. You might go crazy out here in L.A. in this traffic. Okay. Well, Chad, thank you for that. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Now heard six days a week. Have you heard our six day yet? Saturdays, two to six, every Saturday, two to six. That's right. You've got to hear the top like it show six days a week. Saturdays, two to six on 97.1 FM Talk in Los Angeles. And on the internet at blowmeuptop.com. Click on the listen live button between 2 and 6 p.m. Pacific time. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Dave on the top like it show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Dave. Tom, I got to say, I love you, man. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Not that I haven't tried to call before, but, you know, there's a little bit of a hypocrisy about this. I'm driving. I'm a little, a little buzzed, but I got to tell you, Tom, you know, drinking is the American way. You turn on the freaking TV, and, you know, everybody's playing softball or volleyball, drinking, you know, whatever brand of it is paying for the commercial. Have I lost anybody? No. No drunk drivers ever plowed into a car or tacoed it and pulled it in half. I know it happens. I've known people who are well respected in the community and, you know, they get the short of the stick. You know, it's the holidays. They go out and they indulge. And, you know, you got to admit, Tom, even with you, if you do your wine show, I love it. Uh, it kind of turned me on to wine. But uh, I got to tell you, when everybody leaves those wine tasting parties, what, do we all have limos out there waiting or, or cabs? No. You know, it's an ugly truth about America. But, hey, it's part of being an American. You drink, you go out, you have a good time. And you drink while you drive. Well, you know what? Yeah. Or if not, well, then right afterwards, you know, I've been, you know, I go to parties and functions and, you know, it's funny because it's all under the guise of business, but then, well, let's not get a DUI on the way home because then you're irresponsible or irresponsible. I'm sorry, little buzz. <laughs> Try on the way home drinking. But, you know, you go to these functions and you see all the people that, you know, you go to chamber meetings. I'm, I, I'm in sales, and it's like it's like a double-edged sword. Go out there, entertain, push the product, do your job, what we hired you to do, make results, fit in, because that's part of selling, and you're the best salesman I know, Tom. I, I freaking love you, brother. I really do. Thank you for but, that. Well, I'm serious. You're like my freaking hero. And you know what? You, if you get pulled over, and I have been pulled over, and I've gotten a DUI, but you know what? It, it just sucks because it's a it's a double stand with society. With, with society, you know, you can, and I don't mean just you, Tom, but society can back gays. Gays are cool. Got nothing wrong with them. Hey, you know, I mean, sex is sex. We all want sex. But you know, when it comes to drinking and driving, God dang it, why are are people like me 
ostracized because we go out. That's our job. Well, let's ask that question. Let's ask that question. Carol, you heard Dave's question. What do you think? I think anybody who drinks and drives is a straight-up moron. I have a sister-in-law who was killed two years ago. Be quiet, Dave. I have a sister-in-law who was killed two years ago from a drunk driver, and I just think that there's a time and a place for everyone to be drinking. I don't, I mean, sure, everybody likes to, you know, drink now and then, but like I said, you know, there's a way to do it, and there's a way to be safe about it. Is it, can I talk? Go on, because you can't say you can't say the BS word, the S word, any form of the S word. But Carol, why don't you hang on here as you pull over, pull and over. hang on there. Let me bring a Bill in here now. Bill, uh, tell us about what's going on over there. Hey Tom, how you doing? Uh, first time caller. I'm doing great. Just popped me a cold one. I'm heading out to uh, Topless Bar, and uh, then going to hit a couple clubs. You know, just hit the scene. I got. I'm in my party bus, I own a uh, limousine company, and, uh, you know, just doing my doing my thing. So, let me understand, you, you own a limousine company, do you drive people around while you're drinking? No, oh, absolutely not. No, I won't, I won't drink two days before a run. All right, so it's only when you've got the car to yourself? Yeah, absolutely. And, and when it, I do that, if the party's on, I show up, everybody gets on board, we have a good time. And it's a party bus? Yes. So, uh, what do you drink while you're driving the party bus? Um, Big 40, uh, Bud Light. A big 40 of Bud Light. Do you ever drink anything harder than that or anything uh, else? Oh, absolutely. Once we get to the bar, the party's on. And you keep driving. Well, we, we park it right there on the outside of the bar, so it's like our own little VIP room. Right. And then when you're done, you have to drive it to the next location. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little bit ignorant. Well, a whole lot ignorant. Now, nothing intelligent about it. Now, now, tell me what you told Dean about your criminal record. Uh, what happened in the past? Ah, one DUI, oh, two, three DUIs, three DUIs, still haven't learned, guess it's time for me to grow up. Every year it comes around, I say, I've got to stop, that's my New Year's resolution, every year. What do you think, Carol? I think that's horrible, and I think that if, if he's the one that has a limousine service, how would he feel if... Oh, he said he didn't drive while he was driving the limousine. I understand that. But how would he feel if one of his family members were slaughtered down by a drunk driver just because they decided to drink while they're on their way home from work? No, I understand. I I, I understand exactly what she's saying. I, it, would, it, would, it would hurt anybody, and it's, it not, would, it's know, not the it, right thing to do. I mean, if you go to any bar, everybody's drinking. Everybody's doing shots. Everybody's drinking. There's nobody there that, But sober. I think everybody, everybody should have a... A designated driver. I mean, you see all the people well, we're in the city of San Gabriel where I live, there's flyers everywhere. You need a designated driver, please call this number. You can always back and go back and get your car another day, you know, the next day, whatever. But I just, I'm totally against drunk drivers. Well, I, I, I agree totally. with you. I agree you. I, with you. Like I said, and it's I'm not so I'm, not, I'm a very well-educated woman. I'm not a moron. <laughs> I never called you a moron. No, that was the last caller. Somebody, somebody called me a moron. That was the last caller. <laughs> somebody called me a moron. I don't know who did. All right. But Car Carol, thank you for that, Bill. I thank you as well. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Sonia on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Right here going to school, and I'm drinking Patron on a foam cup. And I have a chaser. That I usually do that every time. Like I think it helps me a little bit in school. Patron helps you in school. A <laughs> little bit. Really? Like How does Patron help you in school? Like every time I drink, I just do a little bit better on my work. Let me concentrate a little bit more. I don't drink to get drunk. Drunk. It's just. A little bit, you know? So, uh, you have a foam cup. How much Patron is in that cup? Halfway. How much? Halfway. Ha ha so, it's like two shots? Yeah. And you're going to finish that? And do you have the bottle with you? Yes. And you might refill? Um, Maybe. I don't know. Usually, I take about half a cup. Half a cup of Patron on the way to school? And how long a drive do you have to school? About half an hour. Half an hour. Hour, yeah. Now, have you ever been pulled over? 
Yeah, but not while I was drinking, so. Are you worried that you'd be pulled over for something else? Like uh, speeding or lane changes or maybe it went through the yellow light or something? You're not worried about that? Think girls maybe sometimes a little bit more lucky than guys. Really? Sometimes. And that's how... Uh, last time I got pulled over, they let me go. I didn't have, I don't have my license. You don't have your license? Why not? Um, I haven't went to go get it yet. I just have my permit. You're 20 years old, dear, and you live in California. How do you not have a license yet? I don't, I don't have insurance, so, you know, I haven't gone to the DMV to actually take the test. As I don't have insurance at the moment. So if you had an accident while you were drunk... Uh, that you wouldn't get paid, your hospital bill wouldn't be paid, your to repair the car wouldn't be paid, and uh, more importantly, the people in the other car, if they were injured, they their hospital bills wouldn't be paid either. Well, I don't drink to get drunk. I just drink a little bit. Well, you could have an accident that has nothing to do with driving. Maybe, maybe you would just uh, make a wrong turn or uh, your uh, attention's distracted for a minute. I mean, have you? I've had car accidents and I wasn't drunk. Have you ever had one? Well, I, that doesn't really scare me. I don't know. I guess I never really think about it. Maybe you should think about it. Yeah, that's true. What if somebody else made a mistake and plowed into you? Yeah, that's true. Then the cops come. You'd wait for the cops, right? <laughs> I don't think I... Well, I don't know. Maybe I... I guess. Well, you know what a hit-and-run accident is, right? Yeah. Like, if you were in an accident and then you tried to run... Yeah. Then, then it's even worse than having the accident. Yeah, I know. So... You would wait, right, for the police? Yeah. Even though you've been drinking? Yeah. And then what would happen when the police get there? You got no license, no insurance, you're drinking, and you're probably over the limit. Yeah, most likely I'd be over the limit. Right. What do you, what do you think about that? That doesn't sound too good. But it wouldn't change the way you do things. I don't. Um, maybe later on after I finish school. I have a couple more months. Let me see here. Carissa, what do you think of what Sonia is saying here? <laughs> Hello, Tom. Hi. Okay, well, about this time last year, I had five uh, people in my life die from a drunk driver in the same car at once. <laughs> um... A drunk driver went on the, you know, wrong direction in the freeway and hit a family and killed my friend Bethany and her four kids, the youngest being eight weeks old. I, I find it entirely ridiculous <laughs> that you would even put your life and, and other people's life in jeopardy. I mean, does that make sense to you? Oh, once I'm finished with school, like you're an imbecile, like you're stupid. <laughs> What are you learning in school at all? Well, I guess I never really thought of it like that. Well, you should. Five people died in a matter of seconds because of a drunk driver going to Taco Bell for dinner after he had been drinking Patron and beers and partying it up, not worrying about anyone else in his life or anyone that is outside of his life. An eight-week-old baby lost her life and her mother, her husband and her other two kids lived, and they have to live with their whole family being killed in a matter of seconds from a drunk driver on vacation with their family. Like, does that not hurt your heart at all? Yeah. That, that makes... Continue to drink Patron on your way to school because it helps you do better in school. That's it, that's just, you show no intelligence, young lady. Nothing. And I'm probably younger than you are. I'm 22 years old and I have enough brains. Yes, I have done that in my life. I have had one or two drinks at a bar and drove myself home, but do you think I ever had a sip and did that after last year? No. Well, Lives were lost. 
people were destroyed. And I have the image of seeing her car seat smashed on the pavement forever. Do you want that to happen to you or your family or someone that you don't even know? No. Exactly. Then don't do it, hon. Don't do it. It is go to school, take your test, learn what you need to learn, go home and throw them back and go to bed. There's no reason you have to do it on the road. No reason. All right. Yeah, I can't see what you're saying. And the guy that did it is serving 43 years in jail, and he's 24 years old. Huh? Do you want to be in jail for 43 years at your age? Not really, no. No. You can ruin your life and so many others. It's right. tragic. One, two, three drinks, and, and, and you can do a stupid mistake that can ruin people's lives. Carissa, Sonia... Thank you for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Ian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, we're talking to drunk drivers calling from their cell phones. Yes. How you doing, Dad? Great, son. All I got to say is that you are the man. Why, thank you. you. Uh, okay. We follow Tom Likas 101 everywhere we go. Me and all my buddies. We always use a condom. We never spend more than 40 bucks, and we're always getting late. It's like, it's like, it's like I'm reading like an old proverb every time I listen to you on the radio. And uh, I was talking to your buddy before. He asked me what I was drinking. I've got six tall boys in the car. I just killed about three and a half of them. Really? Yeah. I'm 21 years old. Uh... I'm actually thinking about going back in the military. And uh, I drive great when I'm buzzed, man. I don't know what the whole hype here is with, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're drinking and driving. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I, I drive good when I'm buzzed. You know, I'm a big guy. I'm, I'm Irish and Italian, you know. And uh, it's like, like that chick that was on before that said she had no policy. The S word is out. You're out. And so are you. Kim, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Good. Well, um, just so you know, I have never in my lifetime ever called into a radio show. I'm 32 years old. And I just, my husband actually called me on the way home from work and said, you've got to turn this on because my my statement to him is always nothing good ever happens after the night because... Just the amount of drunk drivers that are out there, and he knows I'm just terrified of just not anything that we do, but everybody else on the road. And the reason is, is because my mom's father is in the Midwest, is in Kansas City, and he passed away when I was 12. So this is 20 years ago, but he was paralyzed for the remainder of his life, which turned out to be, I believe, 34 years after he was hit by a drunk driver on Christmas Eve just after dropping off presents at an orphanage for some children. Wow. And the, and the fact that these people call in and they think that's funny just blows me away. The person that, that hit him, this is, you know, way back in the day, 50 years, 50 years ago, and that person walked free. They never spent a day in jail or nothing. And I remember going and saying to my grandfather, I'm sorry, I'm losing you. And I'm still losing you. Okay. We have time for maybe one more here. Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Mr. Likas, how are you? Doing great. I am a uh, first-time caller, short-time listener, but I, I love your, your message and your word. And your, 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 I love you. Thank you. I am drinking wine. Uh, I started at work. You're uh, drinking wine in the light. car? I, uh, red light. Okay. Uh, I started drinking at work. And uh, now I drank with my boss, and now 
I'm following her. Now, uh, is the wine in a bottle or a cup or a, a can? Or how are you carrying well, it? Well, Mr. Like, it started off in a bottle, and then it ended up in a stomach. So it's all in the bottle already? Oh, it's all... I'm, Euro I'm European. We drink out of the bottle. I see. So the bottle's in the car with you? Yes, and it's almost empty, and I don't have a bottle opener, so I'm about to push the cork into another bottle. What what kind of wine is it, if you don't mind my asking? It is a Merlot, and I don't mind it at all. It is a, called a Clos du Bois. Clos du Bois. It is a very fine at, at, at this popular uh, beverage retail outlet, which I will not name. It is only five cents for the second bottle. I see. It is beautiful. I love America for this reason. I, I understand. But she is single, no kids. And uh, I didn't spend any money to get this um, fine, you know, gift. And uh, I have you to thank for it. Because and you, and your days, boss, and your, like and your boss is aware of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay with you. I don't mind. I'm not spending money. This is this is your training. You know, this has well, to be I didn't. Really I didn't train I'm you like, to drive a drink with a bottle of wine. And uh, where are you carrying that bottle? Is it in the cup holder? Is it between your legs? Where is it? I have an SUV, and it's in the cup holder behind me. <laughs> well, yeah, that'll convince the cops that it wasn't yours. I just wish I had a long straw, Mr. Likas. Oh, my God. And I'm, yeah, I'm... At zero yeah. college policy. You can't say that on the air. The F word, even as an adverb, you can't do it. Well, there you go for another year. Uh, once again, I think we've proven our point. There may be drug driving laws, but you heard uh, you heard two hours of callers all smashed, with a few exceptions. A police officer, a former president of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, people who lost family members and friends to drunk drivers. But it's not stopping people from driving drunk. Unbelievable. It's the Tom Likas Show.